Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and the next DC Universe Classics Collect and Connect figure review is Calabac. Now I know there's a couple different versions of this character, you know, different outfits, that kind of thing, but this is the one, it really most closely resembles the one from the animated series way back in the uh, early 2000s I think it was, might have been late 90s. But um, I like it. He does have the one sleeve and one unsleeved arm. So that's kind of a cool touch. I like it a lot. He, they did a really good job with all the hair. They did some really heavy dry brushing on him. And it looks really nice. There are a couple problems though. Let's start off by talking about the height. He's not supposed to be very tall, so I don't, that's not one of the problems. Stands at just about seven and a quarter inches tall. So he's got some decent size to him. A little bit taller than the standard figures. And uh, he has generally the same articulation. The head does spin on standard ball peg. No forward or backward, it just kind of rocks on top of the peg there. So not too much there, but full spinach. And uh, standard shoulder joint. It's a really big uh, ball joint there for the shoulder. And it makes the sculpt work really well. You don't want to have it uh, standing out too much. And the way it's recessed, it just works really well. This uh, bicep swivel is built in, single jointed elbow, not quite 90 degrees, but it's enough. And then he's got a swivel at the forearm. Same on both sides for all of that. Of course, it's a different sculpt on this side. You can see his little tattoo thingy, whatever that is. And um, the details on the clothes are actually all sculpted, so that's a really nice touch as well. Uh, he's got the ab crunch. Not a huge range of motion again, but it is there. A little bit of paint rub on there. I wish that wasn't like that. But it still does have the ab crunch, so that's pretty good. He does not have a waist twist. Oh, he does. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I had this guy. He's just kind of tight. Okay, so yeah, he does have the waist twist. Sorry about that. And he's got the standard DC Universe Classics hips. Forward, backward, side to side. The side thigh swivel is built into the bottom of his shorts, so it's pretty well hidden. He's got a single jointed knee, single jointed ankle, and no ankle rocker on this guy. So that's kind of a problem. That's one of the problems. He has no ankle rocker. He really should. Next problem is this sash thing that he has, this belt that he has that goes over his shoulder that you can snap his little hammer thing into. That part's fine, but the hammer snaps in really low, so it looks kind of weird sitting on his back that low. And it goes underneath his beard hair and his other hair, so it's just kind of awkward looking. Now I know his beard hair would stick over but the way it goes like so far up under it's like basically underneath his chin. It just looks kind of weird. I don't care for that too much. The next problem is they have this little belt thing here that comes around with a little peg hole in it and that would be fine if they gave him the accessory they originally intended to but instead they gave that accessory to the parademon and it's not supposed to be for Calabac, it's for the Parrot Demon, even though it's the same sculpt and everything as the one he was originally supposed to have. So if you have that figure, you can go ahead and give Calabac his gun that he was supposed to have, or not, it's up to you. But they left this here, even though he doesn't come with the gun. So that's kind of a poor decision, I think. So the hammer belt thingy doesn't look the best. That extra belt shouldn't really be there anymore, and no ankle rockers. Other than that, he's really good. The sculpt on this guy is nice. Face is a little mush to the right. I don't know if, it was, if it's really showing, but this part of the face is kind of sunken in a little bit more. I think you can probably tell. But other than that, it's really good. The hair sculpted really well, painted really well. And just like I said, all of the details on the clothes are sculpted too. So not too many complaints overall. I'd still recommend you get him. He's uh, He ties in with Dark Side, so it's nice that they made him a Build-A-Figure as well. Instead of making him a smaller, regular figure, he should be a little bit bigger. And it's a, overall a really good figure. Nice shelf presence, so to speak. Has some really nice colors. And uh, just good overall size. So I do recommend you go ahead and pick that up. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this review helped you decide if you want to get this figure or not. Or at least was entertaining if you already have it, maybe. Or informative. Or maybe you thought it was useless. And in which case, you shouldn't have watched it in the first place. But hey. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. And in the meantime, keep collecting.